welcome again to um, to our fun practice time for uh, Gentle Movement. My name is Chris, if we've not met before, and we'll get started. We usually wait, yeah, we have a set time for 1045, but we usually give a few minutes because people forget or um, or we get, uh, get a little bit delayed. So I'm glad everyone is here and we'll go for about 45 minutes of movement. That's a good amount. And then um, send you on your way to make good waves of sweet vibrations throughout the world. All right. So let's just start with our hands on our knees and make sure we're in a nice safe space that we have the room that we need to move. And if not, that we can adjust to that. Let me move this out of the way. That we have enough room to bring our arms up, bring them in front of us, uh, and to do some backflips. Um, so as long as we have room for all that stuff, we're good. Um, backflips and chairs are a little tricky. Um, I can't say I've ever done it before, and we're actually not going to do that today. That was just for fun. I love the expression on people's faces, you know, on your face when I say we're going to do a backflip. It's priceless. So let's um, let's just start with our back straight, nice deep breath in and exhale. We'll get into it. All right, if you're joining us if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. Please join us every Thursday. Um, we start getting people into the room at 1045 and we start going around 1050, 1055 um, and have a little conversation sometimes ahead of time. So a little social interaction is always good. We're just gonna start moving, moving our hands, get started playing a little piano. I don't know if you notice like your fingers and toes, um, they get stuck sometimes. I know mine do. And so keeping them limber and, and agile is, uh, as best we can is important. I don't play the piano. Um, well, can't say don't play it. I don't play it where people would want to listen to it, but um, I do touch some keys every so often. So it's important to keep our fingers limber. So we're gonna go up and down, up and down a keyboard. Nice deep breath in. And while we're doing this, you're gonna feel your shoulders activate. You're gonna go out a little bit wider. It's the biggest keyboard. Most keyboards are 88 keys. I think this one's uh, 180 keys. We're just gonna keep going out. It's a round piano, right? Have you seen the piano, the organs where they got the keys up here and the keys down here? Dudes playing all kinds of, you know, people playing all kinds of stuff. Beautiful sounds. All right. And just start crossing our arms, keeping our fingers moving, get some light motion happening. Some matrix moves. We go back with our arms, our shoulders. We're not doing big moves. We're doing really slow stuff right now. We're just like, you know, sometimes in the winter you turn on the car and you got to give it a minute. It's kind of what we're doing here. It's getting the car started. Shaking our hands out, clapping them together like we're baby seals. So what this does is when we hit, when we do like little hitting, is it brings uh, attention to that, to that area. Hi, Flame, you saying hi? No one's saying hi, all right. Good fellas, good fellas. Okay, all right. It's all right, guys, it's okay. So we're just gonna start doing some arm swings. Again, this is what we want to make sure that we don't have a desk in front of us that we're going to hit. 
There's some arm swings we're gonna come across. We're not punching. We're just, we are my hands loose and I'm just swinging my arm <clears throat> up and on the side. Just get the elbows and stuff loosened up or shoulders loosened up on our back. It's nice. Now incorporating our shoulders, doing some slow moves and doing some fast ones. Depends on where you're at. <clears throat> Sometimes how we move depends on how we slept the night before, right? If we didn't get a good night's sleep, it might be a little, we might be a little slower. Or if we slept weird, then that's going to cause some discomfort. So we're just bringing our arms out, flapping our wings, coming up and down. Pressing our hands together. See how far you can come up? Not that far, right? When your hands are pressed together, your elbows can only go so high, right? So we're going to put our fists together and bring our elbows up, right? That's a little easy. And bring them down. So when we bring them down, we're going to start pulling from the neck and bring them back up. We pull from underneath, pressing our hands together. Now, if we we go back to this, it's, again, it's tight, which is good for smaller movements, but we want to get bigger movements. All right, you'll feel your back getting engaged and your neck getting involved as well. So this is the back underneath your shoulder blades, and this is your neck right here. It's amazing, just that little, little switch will do. So shaking out, we're going to start with our head and we're going to try to touch our left ear with our left shoulder, very slow, deep breath in and back. Over to the right again. Nice deep breath in. If you are a little fatigued, um, doing neck stretches, or if you have a headache, sometimes neck stretches can help um, relieve some of that because it brings a lot of blood flow to the head, to the head, to your brain. That's what I meant to say. Right, but yeah, we have to do it really slow. If we do it too fast, we get dizzy. That's no good. Unless you want to be dizzy. I don't know if you remember being a kid spinning around until you got dizzy. And then slowly bringing our head forward, nose to the chest, back to the left, chin to the sky. Over to the right and down. And one more full rotation. You can have your eyes open or closed for this. Sometimes being closed, you can get a little dizzy. And we're going to stop and go back to the right hand side. Back around really slow. You'll start to feel your back loosen, at least the upper part of your back loosen up, which is good. All right, so we're just doing this really slow, really intentional. And come all the way back to the center. We can go half a rotation down back. I find it coming, going back from chin down to coming up is a little bit easier than going from back forward. I don't know why that is, but that's kind of what happens. I'm going to grab my elbow 
with my uh, my right elbow with my left hand. And I cup it and, and let this part be loose and lift up and down with my left hand. So I'm using the heel of my palm to lift my shoulder up and down. And this will help so we're not doing the work ourselves, nice and slow. Other side, hi pretty hummingbird, up and down. Hummingbirds are nice, but they're a little scary. They fight, I didn't realize they fought as much as they actually do. They chase each other away from food. And they budge it by like 100 miles an hour. All right, lifting up. And bring back down. I come back up on my right side. I'm going to manipulate my sh shoulder a little bit more. Right? This is me doing it. And you can do what feels good for you. Right? But just using your hand to do the guiding. Right? So imagine your arm just, um, you just want to let this be as loose as possible and give all the weight to your other. To, to your left hand, all right, lifting up, circulating it around a little bit. Your hand is doing all the work and believe it or not, it's getting a workout by doing the work. You're just sharing the labor in this case, two for one. A BOGO if you shop at Publix. and let it come down gently, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Very good. Some shoulder shrugs, right? Just lift up and back. I'm gonna have my hands facing up, my palms facing up. When I do this, it'll change slightly how, it's, how it feels. We're gonna do a couple different ways. So we're gonna start with our hands up, lift up, back, down, forward, up, Back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward, almost like we're delivering a tray of desserts. <laughs> it's okay. Or tea, could be tea. If you want tea, that's fine too. Doesn't have to be desserts. Up, back, down, forward. All right now we're going to go forward up, down, right, forward, back, down, sorry, forward, back, and down. You might hear some popping or cracking, that's okay, as long as it's not snapping in two. Forward, up, back, down, all right. Now I'm going to put my hands together in a prayer position, and say a little prayer for myself, for you guys, you can do the same. Inhale, exhale. Next inhale, we're gonna go up and down to the side to our back and try to get your arms behind your back. If you can, grab your elbows. If not, not a big deal. And then release slowly. Again, come together in prayer, say a little prayer. Up high, reach for the sky, reach for the sky, reach for the sky. Use your thumbs, lead with your thumbs, heading out, pushing out to go behind your back. Try to grab your thumbs, let your thumbs cross, try to grab your elbows if you can. We're gonna stay here for a second, back straight, chin up, deep breath in. You can loosen as you need, right? And then turn to the right and turn to the left and release slowly as you come back to the center. Do that one more time, come into prayer. Come up slowly, back and around. Each time it's gonna feel a little bit different. You're gonna be a little bit deeper. You're gonna to twist to the right, twist to the left. When I say deeper, it shouldn't be any pain. Um, should be no pain whatsoever, right? If you feel pain, please stop. 
right? I can't see what you guys are experiencing. So I just need to trust that you are following um, your best judgment. Hands together again in prayer pose. This time, instead of going up, we're gonna go out and back in, All right? Out and back in. So when we come back in, we wanna squeeze our shoulders together like we're, um, like they're trying to touch each other. Back out to loosen them as far as we can, like we're gonna dive off a diving board and come back in. Okay. One more time going out. Exhale coming in and relax. All right, let's work on our legs. Let's start walking. We're not gonna run first. I'm not gonna run yet. All right, Mary Roberts, your ass coming in. All right. So we have shoes on. If you don't have shoes on, it's okay. Sometimes it's better. Depends on the types of shoes. These are somewhat loose in the top, so it's a little bit easier for my toes to move around. <clears throat> if you need to take your shoes off, please do. You want to be able to bend your toes. Um, so they're not at 90 degrees, unless you can do that. Um, but bend them as best as you can, just like we did with our fingers earlier, where we were squeezing. We can't really do the same thing. It's tough to play piano with our toes. Believe me, I've tried. It's not easy. My big toe is okay. It's the pinky that gives me a hard time. All right, so we're just going to go back and forth. Right now, I'm just tiptoeing through some tulips. All right. And we're going to flatten out and just start walking. See, it all depends. Like back here is a little bit more pressure. Up here is a little less pressure. And I'm going to lift my heel. I mean, I'm going to press my heel into the ground. And when I do that, my big toe, in theory, will come up. All right. So this will get the back of the leg and beginning part of the knee. We put our foot out farther. All right. We're going to point forward and then bring, try and bring our toe back to get behind here. Same thing on the left side. All right. We're going to, and you can come up on your chair a little bit as long as you have good balance. We bring our toe back and then forward. Back and then forward. If you can lift your leg, that's great. Back and then forward and back and forward. Same thing on the other side, back and forward, back and forward, back, and forward. Here they go again. Two people on bicycles going by, and they go crazy. And forward. Yeah. Let them know, guys. Let them know. You tell them. You tell them. All right. Now we're going to start walking. It's all right. It's all right, boys. It's all right, it's all right. It's okay, Flamey. Flamey reacts because he's he's a very nervous guy. Merlin just likes to hear his own voice, in my opinion. Hey, come on, guys. We're working here. All right. I know. So we're going to walk. If you feel like running, you can, maybe a little jog. Try to stay on your tiptoes a little bit more. You can push off of them. That feels good. So it's not straight up and down, right? So if you give a little push with your toes. Hi, right, Flamey, Flamey. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. He doesn't care. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear him or not, but I sure can. So we're just walking. All right. Gonna jump over a hurdle. Just walk and jump over a hurdle. 
Jump over a hurdle. Jump over a hurdle. Come on, guys. All right, we got this, so we're going to go a little faster. Jump over a hurdle. Jump over a hurdle. Jump over a hurdle. All right, slowing down. Going uphill now. So we're going to go a little slower. We're going to lean in. We're going to lean forward slightly. We're going up a hill. Oh, no. Come on, guys. You guys are being ridiculous. You guys keep doing that. I'm going to say something to these guys. Hang on one second. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Come on, fellas. And we're back. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right. I think that was enough walking. I just ran a little bit. So <sighs> let's take a break. Take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. And come back up. All right. Everybody relax for just a second. <sighs> okay. So now we can work a little bit on our upper body. <clears throat> or a lot of bit. I'm going to bring my arm up coming from the right hand side. So I'm doing an arc up. Right. And then I'm going to bend from my waist over to my left. All right, so I want to straight back as much as I can. And this is a bend, not a twist. So we're just going to bend and then come down. Left side, same thing, being a little teapot, coming up, keeping head straight, back straight. Use the side of the chair if you need to. With your thumbs and fingers, reach as far as you can and then come back down. That little extra reach is going to help open up just a little bit more. We're going to come back up from the right and bend. And come down. Very subtle. And down. All right. Whew. Now we're going to do a twist. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come up. And then continue over to our left hand side. So, whatever side you start on, left or right, it's fine. Deep breath in, exhale. And release. Left side, come up all the way over. And release slowly. Right hand side, same thing. And then come back up and over. And release slowly. Left hand side, come up and over. Nice deep breath when we do this. Inhale and exhale and release. Bring both arms up, slightly lean back in your seat, and nose and eyes and chin forward. We're going to 
go a flat back, come down to the floor as best we can. And back. One more time. And come up. Lean back slightly. And go forward. Flat back. Chin up, nose up. And go down as far as you can. And then when I say chin up, nose up, at one point, you just want it above your horizon. You just, our heads, we don't want our heads pointing down. All right. Chin up, nose up. Hands down, coming back up slowly. Flat back, finishing up top. Very good. One more time. And down slowly. And back. We will not stop today. I do what I normally do. I give him hugs and kisses. And he just won't stop. He's very upset about something. All right. So how's everybody doing? Can I get a thumbs up? See how everybody's doing? Or not a thumbs up if everybody's not doing okay. Everybody doing all right? Cool. Quite frankly, I can't tell some. I think I'm looking at mostly pictures and not video. So. Um, so if you didn't move, that's all right. All right, we're gonna bring our shoulders across. All right, lift them up again. Let them drop down. Shoulders across, just big and floppy. Let them drop down. All right. Now, we're gonna take our hands and our elbow, we're really gonna focus on our elbows and bring our elbows back. We're gonna to try to get our hands to our chest as far back as we can. If you need to make a fist, that's okay too. And then come back out, All right? So we're like pulling a drawer, if you will, but through us, as odd as that might sound. So we're gonna just pull and we're pulling and we're going past. So our elbows are behind us. And we want to be up as straight as we can. This is for posture, right? And good, better posture leads to better breathing, right? I'll explain in a sec. And back forward one more time. And pulling back. And forward. What happens if we have bad posture, at least in my case, is I tend to, my shoulders come forward and this folds in. So any of the upper air that I need for shorter breaths, if I'm running or something like that, posture is very important, trying to get our shoulders back. And it's not because we're, um, you know, we need to be formal or we're in the military or anything like that. It's really for the health of our, um, of our lungs. And it keeps, um, it just helps bring open everything. It also opens our heart up, our heart space, right? That's the other thing, trying to crack that open as much as we can. Being in front of keyboards, we're like this. Being on our phones, we're like this. It, any sort of technology is, is that way typically. So we wanna, and especially with the soft cushy chairs we have, we wanna make sure that we um, don't we don't want to be leaning over like this. So doing these things hopefully will help with that. Another part is our lower back, right? We want to make sure our lower back gets some love. So I'm going to take my elbow and I'm going to go over to my right knee, my left elbow to my right knee, kind of what we did before, but a little bit deeper and with a little bit of a twist and release slowly and come back up. Because if we have lower back pain, which a lot of us do, um, it can really affect our posture. So just elbow to knee, right? If you wanna do a sit up, you can. All you gotta do is squeeze your abs, like take a deep breath, hold your abs, exhale as you go to your knee with your elbow and release. 
right? Now we have a sit-up go, a little crunch, right? Focus more, I'm hoping you focus more on your back. You can go beyond your knee, right? If you, if you can, with a little twist and exhale. And inhale, come from a flatter back this time, right? We try not to curl over too much. And this is gonna hopefully help our back. And we need a nice back, nice strong back to help lift ourselves up. And we use to lift anything, we really need our back muscles. So we're gonna go one more time to the right and one more time to the left. Very good. And come back up. Deep breath in and exhale. And one more time. And exhale. All right. Let's do a little bit of uh, punching, right? So this will help loosen. It'll be a little tiring, but we, and we don't want to overheat for sure. So we're going to do just a couple of rounds of, of, of boxing, right? So let's get our defenses up, right? A little self-defense. We're going to open. We're going to close. We're going to open. We're going to close. You should hopefully feel this in your mid back, squeezing and opening, squeezing, opening, squeezing, opening. These are defensive moves. If someone's coming at you from the right, from your right, their left, and opposite on this side. Right. I'm getting a call. You want to see who it is? I don't. Not right now. We're busy. Could be the dog he's calling me saying, hey, Papa, come get us. <laughs> if they had opposable thumbs, it would rule the world. All right. So defense, right? We're also going to block up, block up, block up, and block up, block down, block down, block down. Block down, right? Up, up, side, side, down, down. So actually down is more like this, more of a curve on this one, right? So we're gonna go up, up, side, side, down, down, up, up, side, side, down, down, right? Ready for MMA, right? Ready to do it. Here we go. This is why we need our fingers, because our fingers, we're going to be in. So when I do this, I don't keep my fingers squoze, squeezed all the way. I keep them loose, right? Keep my hands loose until I punch. Once I punch, then I, I squeeze my hand when I land on my target. Right. Not that I get into fights or anything like that, but this is um, so we're going to punch, punch, punch. It looks like they're closed, but they're not that squishy. Close. Right. Squeeze here. Squeeze, 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 uppercut, 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 uppercut. Body blow, body blow, body blow, body blow, All right? Defend up, defend up, defend to the side, defend to the side, defend down, defend down. Punch, punch, uppercut, uppercut, body blow, body blow, haymaker, haymaker, All right? It's a sequence if we can do it all together, right? We'll do a little dance together, all right? Here we go. We'll do it real quick. Let's see, just check the time. We're in good shape. All right, we have about 10 minutes left, so let's do it. Let me see, a boxing round is three minutes. So that means we can do three rounds, but let's just do one or two, right? So we're just gonna start and we're gonna 
attack first. So punch, punch, uppercut, uppercut, body blow, body blow, haymaker, haymaker. Defend up. Now we've upset them. Defend up, to the side, to the side, down and down. So that's a sequence, right? Punch to the face, punch to the face, uppercut, uppercut, and really reach for those. Body blow, body blow, reach around. Haymaker, haymaker comes over the top, right? Um, they're, they're not looking for that. Then we're gonna defend, defend up, defend to the side, defend to the side, defend down, and defend down, right? One more time, to the face, to the face, uppercut, uppercut, body blow, body blow, haymaker, haymaker, defend up, defend up, defend to the right, defend to the left, defend down, defend down. One more round, to the face, to the face, uppercut, uppercut, body blow, body blow, haymaker, haymaker, defend up, defend up, to the side, to the side, down and down. Now we're back at the beginning. Yay. Now we can have cake. I'm just kidding. That's true. Um, <laughs> so, all right. Let's do a little bit faster one more time. That was round one. One more time. So we're going to go face, face, uppercut, uppercut, body blow, body blow, haymaker, haymaker, defend up, defend up to the right, to the left, down and down. One more time, to the face, to the face. Uh, uppercut, uppercut, sorry about that. Uh, body blow, body blow, haymaker, haymaker, defend up, defend up. To the right, to the left, defend down, defend down. Last time, to the face, to the face. What is it? Uh-oh, they're coming at me. Uppercut, uppercut, body blow body blow, haymaker, haymaker, up high, up high, to the right, to the left, down and down. All right, very good. Shake it out. All right, just shake your arms out, shake your legs out. What we weren't doing is we weren't moving our legs. So when we do this in future times, we'll keep our legs moving at the same time. Right, we'll, keep, we'll do some dancing. Right. So now I'm gonna do a knee lift, right? Get some more leg work in. Knee lift, knee lift, knee lift. If it helps, grab underneath, lift, you can hold, or you can lift and stay, grab the knee this way. Try not to grab actually on the knee, just underneath, hold it up. In, Spin your ankle if you if you'd like. And bring it down. Other side. Come up. I'm gonna spin my uh, spin my ankle a little bit. I'm also gonna try and press my leg out so I'm pulling my shoulders a little bit, keeping a good posture and bring it down. All right, let's see, where are we? How are we doing? Everybody's all right? Good. Nobody got knocked out, did they? I uh, hope no one's in, got knocked out. Yeah, so, all right. So let's close our eyes. Take a deep breath. If you need some water, please, please do that. I hear you, buddy. He is highly upset today. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let's close our eyes. Deep breath in, exhale. Nice posture. If you have anything you need done for yourself, sometimes rotating back going back and forth like this 
to the left and to the right, just bending forward, going back left and right can be useful for lower back. Doing a full circle around can be useful as well. Just make sure your chin is up, your head is up and all that. All right, let's keep our eyes closed and um, just rotate our eyeballs around. So we're just gonna go in clockwise. So starting at the top, going to the right, all the way to the left, back to the top. So we're gonna start at the top, go to the right, down to our left and up to the top. So we're just doing a big circle with our eyes closed, right? Not too fast, because that will make us dizzy, right? It's tough to do with our eyeballs open, So try to do your best, keeping your eyes closed and clockwise motion to the right, going around to the left, back up to the top. And vice versa, go in the opposite direction. So now we're gonna go counterclockwise. So we start at the top, go to the left, down to the right and up. Should sound like this. Up, left, down, right, up. And if you want to go in the clockwise direction, it's up, right, down, left, up. All right, let's do a few more times. If it's not something you're comfortable with doing, just stay where you're at with your eyes closed, nice deep breaths. If you're more comfortable with up and down, do that. Try, I move my head a little bit along with it, which works as well. Some people like to keep their head still and that's okay too. And then right to left and left to right. Nice and slow back and forth. Cool because then when you open your eyes, you see all this cool stuff. <laughs> all right. Relaxing, settling back in. Deep breath. Let's do some breathing for a few minutes. Settle back in. If there are any final movements that you would like to do, please feel free to do it in a safe way. Now I breathe through my nose and out through my mouth. Um, you might do it slightly different, either way is okay. Um, we just wanna make sure that the breaths that we're taking in are nice cooling breaths. And exhaling slowly. There is something called the breath of fire. Um, if, you, if you're a yoga practitioner, which you breathe really fast, rapidly, um, which gets your heart rate up, but it also brings the internal temperature up. So be mindful of doing too, uh, breathing too fast, right? Nice cooling breaths. Depending on where you are, they might not be so cool. But hopefully you get some refreshment from it. And out. Next breath will be the deepest breath you've taken so far. So you want to inhale all the way in. See if you can get a little bit more breath in. Exhale super slow. Sometimes when we breathe out or breathing in, we create sound, which is okay. Our muscles get back to relaxing a bit after we've worked them out slightly. Not too much, not too much. But just gentle movement. <clears throat> we do some intense movement, but it's still gentle. We're not hitting anything. We're not moving around too much. So we just want to make sure that we're getting a nice morning stretch or afternoon, depending on where you're at. Deep breath in and exhale. We're going to slowly open our eyes back up and 
and start focusing on a particular something in the room. In the yoga practice, it's called a drishti. It's just a point of focus that your head stays kind of still and focused on that one object. Even if your head moves, your eyes still stay focused as best you can. Okay. It helps um, if you're doing something uh, intense to have something to focus on uh, when you're doing that, or if, or if there's any sort of something else going on where we're distracted, it's, it's helpful to have that. Could be a, you know, something on the wall, could be a picture that you look at, any number of things. Just finishing up, shaking out our arms, shaking out our legs back into where we started. Nice. All right. And land landing safely back at home um, and in a safe spot. Cool. Oh, everybody good? Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you would. Let me know everyone's all right. Or you can turn on your, your cameras. Let me know everyone's all right. And we'll do this again next week, uh, 1045 Eastern. Um, yeah, so join us, uh, join us then. Um, and we, we put, uh, Kamani puts one of these up on YouTube. Hi, Kamani. Uh, she puts yeah. one up on YouTube a month. Um, and uh, so if you have any favorite uh, sessions, let us know so she can, um, you know, maybe that's one that can, uh, they can land up uh, on YouTube and share with the entire world. It's crazy. Think about that. Yeah, the, um, the next gentle movement class will be uploaded today to YouTube, um, as well as uh, one of Pat Salmer's chair yoga classes. So because there are so many that happen, um, I guess, more frequently, twice a week, uh, we were getting an overload of uh, classes, which is good, but we don't want to put them all up at one time. So we're putting up one class each uh, a month. Yeah. So. Is it the Rocky Three class? I hope. Uh, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I suppose <laughs> I should start numbering them, but <laughs> yeah. but I'll, I'll I think I'll guys. put that in the description when I do find it. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Yeah. So, um, and if you guys have any suggestions or anything you guys um, want or need, more importantly, uh, we do this for you guys. Um, we do it for ourselves, but we we do it for 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 everyone who comes to our classes and people who aren't able to come. So what you guys need, um, I can only guess. If you let us know what's working and not working, that's really helpful. You can send me an email uh, to chris at msfocus.org. Um, and yeah, and if you have any stories to tell as well, we have a magazine. If you have any stories that you want to share with us, we have a MS Focus magazine. We're always looking for people to share their um, their stories um, with us. Um, and if you don't have the magazine or you don't get the magazine, um, there's it's on our website, msfocus.org. Um, and we have a new one coming out, I believe, in October. It's quarterly, so it's once a year if you've not subscribed. Um, there's also a hard copy as well. So... If you guys have any questions or any comments or any suggestions, more importantly, or anything you'd like to share, we are here for, to listen to you and hear you and express your feelings to the people who we speak to. Um, and uh, that's what's most important to us um, is you guys. So thank you guys for joining us. And it's most important. I see smiles on everyone's face because that's why I tell the really bad jokes. I usually charge five cents, but in this case, I won't. So you guys have, have a great week.